Hey, how's it going? And welcome back to the channel. Good morning. Uh, today is going to be exciting, and I think that you guys are going to be relieved and, and maybe a little bit excited to see that I'm going to be hanging out with my good buddy Tyler from TS Gear. Today we're going to be installing a winch on the Toyota Tundra, the truck I'm driving right now. This morning has already been a bit of a uh, shit show, so I went through Starbucks and I didn't have my wallet, which was very embarrassing. I was scrounging for change and I eventually just drove away sad and disheartened. And then I went to McDonald's and I got this disgusting giant coffee. Not that it matters or that it adds any value to the, uh, the video at all, but when I got this giant coffee at McDonald's, I just said, uh, just cream please. And they were like, wait, you don't, you don't want any liquid sugar? And I laughed. And I was like, no, no, I don't want any liquid sugar. And uh, they were like taken aback. Like, is it that, has it just become so common now that people just want to put syrup in their coffee that the people at the, at the drive-thru are, are just taken aback by the fact that someone doesn't want to like put liquid poison into their coffee? In all seriousness, guys, I've been into weightlifting and health and wellness. I was a personal trainer, I ran gyms, and uh, the one huge takeaway I can tell you from all of my experience in that industry is just cut sugar out of your diet and the results will be drastic. If, anyways, all my videos have some little nugget of, of advice, take it as you will, but my advice for today's video is don't eat sugar! It's bad for you. Old truck yard Tyler. Trucks. Trucks and more trucks. <laughs> Tyler's trucks. Ah, oh, crap. I just remembered something. I f***ed up. There's this, um, this actuator that's inside this bumper that we basically had to put into the winch mount because it has to be in there, otherwise you get a, a check engine light. Well, CBI Off-Road has come up with a little chip that you can put in there to kind of trick it. I forgot to bring the chip. I forgot to get one. Oh, uh, what's up, man? I have red hole somewhere. <laughs> Guys, I'm really sorry to break it to you, but the Fieros are gone. It was a, it was a dream that just never happened. High boost is gone. Fieros are gone. Had to had to flush some projects. Tyler and I both went through a purging phase where we just purged everything. Yeah, got rid of the ATC 70 too. Sold that you yesterday. did? Oh wow. Drift trike's still going strong yep, though. Huh? Yep, nobody's bought it yet. It's for sale. <laughs> <laughs> So, Warren was nice enough to send us this winch. I'm honestly not sure which model it is. We need to get in here and take a look at it. That is a nice one. This is the Spidera. No, no, Spidera. That's, that's the, the rope. That's <laughs> the the Zeon. This thing's huge, dude. It's massive. Oh my god. Wow. It's, okay. normal. it's normal size. It's about right. <laughs> Come on. Is that gonna fit in there? Oh, I don't know, dude. That thing's that is gursty. <laughs> it's gonna be tight. Look at the look at the drum on there. Okay, so um I've never moved this bumper. I was there when we installed it at CBI's headquarters, but I haven't uh I have no idea how it comes off, but it is cool because it's in two parts. So there's this outer shell that you can ding up and bash on trails and whatnot. And then there's your winch tray, which is actually what you're pulling the vehicle from. And so they're two separate pieces. So I think that all I need to do is drop this shell, but actually it makes sense that I'd have to drop the winch tray as well to be able to install the winch. So we have to get in there and figure out how this whole thing comes apart. And uh, yeah, it shouldn't be too bad. So I'm checking out this winch. I'm not familiar with it at all, so this is all just my first impression, but first thing I noticed was the size of this drum. It's huge. And then uh, secondly, where the synthetic rope attaches is really cool. It's actually like a, a hole that you loop through. And I gotta figure out exactly how they want you to attach it, but this is such an improvement from my Smitty Built winch, which actually has like a little screw stud. The, the winch line has a tab like this on it, and you screw it in there. This is obviously not the winch line, but uh, on the Smitty Built, that came and it broke off. So what I had to do was 
uh, do a knot around the drum and then tape it really good. And if I go too far out on the winch line, which this could happen anytime, but if you go too far out, it could come off. So one of the things that most people talk about when they have a worn winch is how fast they are. They're, they're built to be super strong, and then they don't have to gear them down as low so they can be a little bit faster, which is really nice. Free spool lever here is super, super smooth and clean feeling. None of this is plastic. This is all like aluminum on the outside, which is really nice. I just want to know if, it, if it's hung up on something. So, yeah, okay, so it must slide on. I think it slides on. So now we can just pull it off. Ah! <laughs> Watch the fingers. That's scared the shit out of me. All right, well, yeah, it comes right off. Huh. It's got some weight to it. That's big. That is a big one. Should you put that whole thing in there to keep that light from going? Yeah. Yeah, because this is the this is like the actuator motor for the little air dam. But the right thing to do would be to either take the grill off or drop the winch tray, but that's a lot of extra work. Everybody knows that we always do things the right way. We, <laughs> we're, we're very adamant about doing everything the right way. But we're gonna try uh, just sort of just sort of squeezing it in there. This may be a disaster. Oh, oh it's so close. Is it? Yep. <laughs> no. Is <laughs> uh, to do it? No. Oh, man. Only laziness had prevailed there. So we decided to go with taking the grill off. So it's four bolts on top. There's these little pop-out deals. There's a bunch of cables. And then I really want to do the TRD Pro grill eventually. Sure they look so much better. Oh. Here we go, here we go. Ah. Let's see. Got my pack out cup. <laughs> look, look what it does in <laughs> case you want to. Hold up. Just kind of. Clicker in here somehow. I haven't even tried it yet. Just got it for Christmas. Wow. Look, just like this. That's amazing. It's full. <laughs> <laughs> just walking onto the job Fill site. Got my coffee. <laughs> oh, they will. Anyway, they don't get very bad. Wait, what is it now? What? Oh, it's just up. Oh, yeah. Well, look, all those wires came out of the way. Wow. Well, that looks like it's going to fit now. <laughs> Sure does. Yeah. Oh, that'll go. Uh -oh. <laughs> it's like she's tight. Dude, less is, than a quarter inch on either side. Is it gonna bolt though? Like you gotta line up the bolts. Put it back further, I think. Uh oh. Nope. 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 Okay, that's this bolt hole. What? Are, it's we're hitting this cross member. Oh no. No. Well, can you take? Is this a cover? We can take oh, off. this thing? Yeah. Wow, dude. Oh, that's lame. Mm. Yeah, you got a sawzall? We can just hack this part I out. I do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I really love the way the winch looks. It's really nice. It's got this nice big aluminum hump. <laughs> worn hump. <laughs> the worn hump. Uh, but in reality, you're not going to see it. But we're you're not going to see it once we put the bumper on but it contacts this little cross member right here. Just barely, we have enough room to where we could probably force it in there. We could grind away at this or whatever, make it work. But Tyler raises a good point that, you know, if we, if we bottom out the truck, hit the skid plate of the bumper and the bumper warps it all, well, we can just take the bumper off and get a new one. But if this winch pushes up into the cross members, it could start tweaking a whole lot of other things. And so we want there to be clearance in there. Sorry, There's, the fire range is hot right now. The range is hot. We got family over. Oh, we want to get this done so we can go shoot. Oh. So we're going to take the hump off and see if there's a, sp like a space where we can zip tie it for now. And then I'll end up buying a bracket or something. To hopefully be able to relocate it. I think it's all sealed. Yeah. It's not attached. <laughs> there we go. There you go. It's got any seas on these. Which is So <laughs> these projects just never, they never go to plan. It's never simple. That's why you need the kit, I guess. It comes with that plate and probably the wires to transfer the power. Uh, 
Well, we can, I mean, we can mount it. You just won't be able to use it. Now, the whole point, the whole point of rushing this today was so that I could go snow wheeling tomorrow and be able to use it. As is, though, we have to put it back together or you're not going to have a truck. I know. <laughs> That's what so. blows. And my Tacoma still doesn't have... we haven't even spooled stuff onto that yet, either. <sighs> well, we determined that this winch is not going to work unless we get a relocation kit or, um, or a different winch. And so I'm going to have to come back. And if I come back, uh, then I'm going to get a new grill and I'll, I'll want to put the lights in it and just kind of do it all at once. So it might be a few weeks until we finish this video. But instead, we, we're going to go join in on the action over there. I have, I've decided to start showing guns on the channel. Like, I don't really care anymore. Yeah, right. like, I don't care. They can demonetize me. Check this bad boy out. Have you, did I show you this yet? Yeah, you showed it to me. I never shot it. Oh. I was oh. telling somebody the story of us at SHOT Show when you were doing that. <laughs> yeah. And like the VP of Remington or whatever, marketing or something came up and... He's like, wow, that's pretty good. Do that again. That's actually pretty cool. And then he had like 10 people walk, like all of a sudden <laughs> wanting one. Yeah, it's that's that's what made me want one was the was the flip. And I kind of cheat. You're supposed to like one hand throw the whole thing out there, but that's asking a lot. And if you can't do two fingers in you here, need the big loop. I need the bigger loop. Yeah. Ooh, I need to modify it now. It'd be sick to put like rails on this. So Ranger Point Precision. I'm gonna send you the one. Yeah, it makes a whole bunch of stuff for this guy. Really? Well, rails and tactical loops and stocks and loops, loops. Man, I'm bummed we can't finish the truck. Oh well. You know, somebody's gotta do this important research. You know, if it wasn't for YouTubers, the world would stop spinning. Would st <laughs> Who, how are we gonna know which worn winch fits in which bumper with, if it wasn't for, you know, test dummies? This, the berm is huge. Oh, I built it way out. Have you not been out here since I built it up? No. Oh, I put... Remember we used to huck the Polaris off of that? No, I, I put a lot more dirt in there. Yeah, you're not going to want to huck anything off of that anymore. Or maybe you do. Ooh, See? The back is... Well, it's built up. I built a big platform off the back. Really? Oh, man. We got to get a buggy and just, like, make that a buggy line or something fun. That'd be fun. Oh, you got those flex tips. Yeah, those are good chills. The Hornadays, yeah. That's yeah. all they had. I mean, if I could find That's something. That's why they're expensive. Yeah. You need to load your own. <laughs> yeah, for sure. That'd That's a cool. big bullet in a fairly small gun. It's like an elephant stopper. I don't even know if we should shoot the steel with it. No. That's the other part about this. But see, you're actually hitting stuff, you know? That's the difference. Three dollars and fifty cents. Over tight. Got it. Oh, oh, oh. I wish we had a watermelon. <laughs> oh my god! Nice shot, dude! <laughs> that was great. It went like 40 feet in the air. Thanks! Yeah. yeah, I like this.